It kind of looks like a bit of ham. If you've ever seen a nice burnt bit of ham with oh, some crackling on? Then, oh uh, my goodness. We're at Silverstone, it's the British MotoGP and Mark Marquez, he's done it again. He's on pole position and he set a new lap record, 1.3 seconds quicker than Casey Stoner's previous record. Now, I don't know if you can see him in the background, but Colin Furs is here with us at Silverstone. We're gonna be talking to him in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at what's been going on in the paddock this morning before qualifying. It's Marquez on pole position and Jorge Lorenzo in second. The two of them were tussling for the lead. And then in third place, it's Cal Crutchlow doing it for the British fans at home. Now, I promise you, Colin Furs, he's still running around like an absolute hooligan behind me. And we'll be talking to him in a second. But first of all, let's hear who you think is going to win tomorrow's British MotoGP. Who's, who's going to win tomorrow? The Spanish guy, um, the young guy, um, what's Mark, Mark Webbers? Marquez. He's going to win it tomorrow. Marquez. Yes. <laughs> it's no competition. Well, it's in his competition. It's going to be close, but it's going to be Marquez. Uh, Mark Marquez. You're not wearing his kit, though. I know, yeah. Just one of those. I prefer BSB, personally. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, Mark Marquez. I think I'll do it after seeing him before, unless he crashes out. So. Mark Marquez. Marquez, yeah. You think only him? A Welsh I think. Crutchlow Lorenz. I might get a podium if he does well, but it's, it's Marquez or... Lorenzo's waiting. Lorenzo, hopefully. That's not what everyone else is saying. <laughs> well, that's just what I want. <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> hunting for. Well, I said uh, Lorenzo to start with. We're after seeing today. I think Marquez has got it. What about you? Uh, Marquez, I'm afraid, yeah. I'm a Lorenzo man, but Marquez. Yeah. And you? Marquez as well. You like Braun still, hanging on to those good old days? Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope Cal Crutchlow. If he's got a bike? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Marquez. All day long, Marquez, yeah. He's, he's, uh, well, he's riding our quickies at the moment. Fantastic, yeah. Valentino Rossi. Kyle Crutchlow. Yeah. Not Marquez? No, not a chance. <laughs> so that's who you think is going to win tomorrow. I'm now joined by Colin Furs. You've been doing a few laps behind me. <laughs> Colin, who do you think is going to win tomorrow? Well, I'd like Kyle Crutchlow to win, obviously. British rider but I think it's going to be Marquez he's he's on a roll at the moment he's so fast and he obviously doesn't care he's like you know 20 odd years old he's he doesn't care if he smashes himself up he just pins it and you've got to respect that he is absolutely unstoppable Cal Crutchlow at home in front of the British fans but this morning two separate crashes he's only got two bikes what is he doing <laughs> it seems to be what he does I mean the, the last two seasons he's done it like the first year he broke his wrist couldn't ride at all Last year he like completely lobbed it, smashed his ankle up, but still rode. It started from the back and come through to fifth. So you know, I mean, he's good round there. He could still win this. So although Marquez has got pole, you know, he's in third. He's not far behind. Just you know, he's got to solve his uh, his petrol problems with his full tank, empty tank handling issues. If you can get out there, he'll win. And Jorge Lorenzo, he was the one who had originally took that lap record, and then Marquez went and and passed him. Yeah, I think he thought he was on a bit of a roll there. He thought, yeah, you know beating Stoner's record, here we go, and then of course Marquez just blasts in and, and completely stuffs it. And I've heard in the press conference as well that Marquez said that he thought it was a bad lap and he actually slowed down oh. just after Lorenzo <laughs> has said that he'd give it his all and it wasn't enough. So if anything, that's going to be a bit of a confidence dip. I think that's tactics, isn't it? That's tactics. So you sound like you know quite a bit about MotoGP. Have you been to a race before? Yeah, I've been to a few races actually. Uh, this is the first time I've been to Silverstone actually. I've done Le Mans, Catalonia, Mugello, and I've actually made it across to uh, Laguna Seca as well and stood on the corkscrew. It's pretty steep, it's good. So you're a bit of a, a pro when it comes to the circuits. What's Silverstone like? Silverstone's good, but from a spectator point of view, because it's quite flat, then you you kind of, you know, the, getting decent viewing and stuff, you do need a grandstand ticket to really guarantee that you can see anything. I think the best one I've ever been to is Mugello, because not only is it a fantastic piece of countryside, but it's there's nice banks and stuff all around the circuit, but the Saturday night after qualifying, the place goes absolutely mental. They're burning trees, smashing bikes up, just revving engines till they destroy. And I have to say, actually, because it was quite a long time that I went there, that did shape quite a lot of future events for me, because it was 
from that that we bought the rubbish moped which I ended up riding on the wall of death and making the world's longest motorbike into from, so from actually going to the Italian MotoGP it did set me on a, a, a different <laughs> course of my life so who knows maybe I wouldn't be here oh my god well maybe the uh, the very British Silverson will set up something else for you as well and I, I don't know if everyone else has noticed this but uh, you're not looking in a hundred percent form here you're covered in chibi grips what's going on no, well of course there is the uh, saying if you play with fire you're gonna get burnt and as I play with fire quite a lot the chances of me getting burnt are a lot higher and unfortunately I had a bit of a gas leak on one of my jet engines and I nearly blew the shed up but I'm all right it doesn't look particularly great I've got a lot of skin flaking off but you know I'm not in any pain you are so. a brave man honestly I can't tell you if you can't see how bad that is I can assure you that I would be at home in bed crying about this you are amazing you were pretty disgusted earlier when I took oh. my bandages off you were nearly <laughs> sick weren't you so no. it kind of looks like a bit of ham you ever seen a nice burnt bit of ham with oh, some crackling on then, oh uh, my goodness but look at that look it's just oh you, you can that pick it forever some serious sunburn oh my goodness so what's next for you what any more fastest challenges not sure about speed ones at the moment. I think I've been doing that quite a lot now. Uh, the jet engine thing as well, I think I've kind of nailed that on the edge. So I'm going something different. We was going to do something in the water, but as I can't really get in a river at the moment with all these burns, then we kind of have to shelve that idea. But I've got plenty of things. I've got a whole list of stuff. Because, you know, I'll be sat on the toilet or whatever and come up with some crazy idea and I'll write that down. Yeah, well, keep us posted if you're going to do any more challenges. There's going to be a link at the end of this video to Colin's jet bike. Check that out. That is just awesome. I love that one. And, of course, comment below because we want to know what your prediction is for the podium tomorrow at the British MotoGP. And, of course, subscribe to Pole Position. Do it. You say I'm only wasting my time. I don't think that's better than